One. This is Innuendo Bingo. James A. Custer and Josh Whittaker are playing today's Innuendo Bingo, starting with James. Hello. Hello. Looking forward to this, I know. Not really. No. This is Innuendo Bingo. Yeah, I should explain, there's going to be a sort of tagging in and out system here. Yeah, you get halfway the tagging Josh. Yeah. The only okay. thing is, it's hard with comedians, I think, because James is very funny, Josh is very funny, but I don't actually know what makes them laugh. This has happened before. Where we had it with Will Ferrell. Yeah, we've had stony face. Did, did he just drink the water and that was it? You can either throw it away or you can suck the head. No, I'd like to suck the head. Suck the head? Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> so we'd listen to the clip, not register any kind of comedy, and then just... Lean forward and spit in my face. <laughs> That's my game plan out the window. <laughs> Feral's already done it. Okay, let's play the game. Let's grab your water bottles, please. And we're going to start with ITV's Lorraine. Why not? It seems that Martin Clunes is keen to go into a little bit more detail about his Valentine's Day plans than we may expect at 9am on national television. Now, look, Valentine's Day is coming up. Are you a romantic fella? Yeah, oh yes. Will you be doing something special? Oh yes, we never miss that one, yes, yes, Good. yes. Because you, you look... You <laughs> I'm just thinking, because I do remember a time I gave my wife a pearl necklace in the Maldives. <laughs> <laughs> That's fake. That was fake. That's a great one. <laughs> that was fake. There's no way that made you laugh that much. That's a great one. <laughs> OK, now we've got an absolute classic from BBC Breakfast. And it seems one TV chef is getting a lot of unwanted attention in the papers. And so he's really painting a very bleak picture and saying we have to re-educate ourselves. And in, and in the middle of it, he fingers, shockingly, I might say, Delia Smith. <laughs> <laughs> that went so bad because that was a genuine one, but I leant forward and then that meant I get it all on my hair. <laughs> From grit. <laughs> he fingers, shockingly, I might say, Delia Smith. I don't even need to hear who he fingered. Shockingly, I might say, was the funny bit. Speaking so formally about fingering. <laughs> okay, next we're going to Winter Watch and as. <laughs> <laughs> as, uh, as presenter Kate Humble witnesses some truly frosty scenes, a famous old phrase springs to mind. I love that. I did love that. I mean, I love the crested tit, but I did love the cold tit in the hand. It just proved the same, doesn't it? A tit in the hand is worth two in the bush. <laughs> it's almost funny. That's funnier. If all she'd said was, I saw a blue tit, I would have laughed. <laughs> I laugh at it every time. My parents like bird watching. A tit in the hand is worth two in the bush. She does that deliberately as well. <laughs> Thank you to literally everyone who sent this one in. It's over to last year's Apprentice, where candidate Camilla shows us the ins and outs of a very interesting almond milk business venture. If I was to slip up tomorrow, I would kick myself for the rest of my life. Ooh! <laughs> that must be good luck, being covered in nut juice before the biggest <laughs> interview of your life. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> uh. Come on, that's a good one. Uh, I like that one. Being covered in nut juice. <laughs> that, that is funny. Good luck being covered in nut juice before the biggest interview of your life. Thanks, Camilla. Okay, this is James Lancaster and Josh Riddick in the Bingo, and we're gonna swap. Oh, well played, mate. Well done. Woo! <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Josh is in the hot seat. How are you? I love an innuendo. Good. Love an innuendo. <laughs> Grab your waters, please. It's odd being so wet when you're so dry in front of me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Is that the first it's, innuendo? It's... <laughs> Here we go. Now, this is one of my absolute faves. It's a classic clip from BBC Radio 4. As Stephen Fry sets out to investigate everything the Wild West has to offer, going full cowboy. But the Wild West does supply some useful clues, as I only recently recalled while I was helping my cousin jack off a horse. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the glasses would provide protection, but they didn't. <laughs> that was intentional. As if Stephen Fry doesn't know what he's doing. Come on, mate. Okay, next one. We're going to Instant Hotel, what a show, on Netflix, where Babe from mother and daughter combo, Babe and Bondi, <laughs> real, is really enjoying this home's outdoor area. <laughs> That's what it's all about, isn't it? Not what I expect her. Yeah. Yeah, I love the deck. You know I love a big deck. 
a big Better fan. fan that one. Big fan of the decking. <laughs> Can't see a thing. Oh, mate, I'm sorry. So I wear them like that. Next, we're going over to Pointless. Oh, yes, please. Mm. And this contestant seems to have maybe misunderstood the name of the commissioner of the Metropolitan Police Service. <laughs> I know who's going to be. <laughs> you do, but it's oh, even it. it's even better than you think oh, it might it? be. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over to Pointless. Give us your answers. Uh, the top one is Caressa Dick. Uh, the former Sam Allardyce, Vince Cable. I think I'll go for Caressa Dick. Caressa Dick says Billy. <laughs> Sorry, that's not an innuendo. Uh, again. I think I'll go for Caressa Dick. Caressa Dick says Billy. <laughs> oh, I was laughing at Sam Allardyce. Oh, it's so good. Okay, one more. And it's a classic clip from Sir Terry Wogan's famous Sunday show on Radio 2. Oh, go on then. Now, here is Terry revealing a bit more about one of his listeners than maybe we wanted to know. It's a lovely spring day, says Nobby Clark of Huddersfield. Sun shining, birds singing. I'm going to clear out my back passage and put some flowers in. <laughs> <laughs> Where was the second wave of water? <laughs> Where's that come from? Flowers. <laughs> Storing it in your cheeks. I'm going to clear out my back passage and put some flowers here. Why are you a hamster? It was a sign of respect. Well played, mate. Excellent game. Ian <laughs> and Ingo, James, Josh, thank you so much. This is Ingo. Bingo. Now the towels. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, and if you like that, then make sure you hit the subscribe button to make sure you get all the biggest and best videos from BBC Radio 1 straight away. And as we are a radio station, don't forget you can now listen to Radio 1 anytime by downloading the BBC Sounds app. Bingo!